WPLCMS Analysis, Separation of Compounds by Ultra Performance Liquid Chromatography and Detection by Means of Time of Flight Mass Spectrometry. The aim of this video is to show in a simple way how to analyze polar and semipolar compounds from tomato leaves using ultra-performance liquid chromatography coupled to mass spectrometry detector. Description of both liquid chromatography separation and mass spectrometry detection techniques. HPLC or UPLC are especially suited to the analysis of compounds not readily assayed by GC. For example, thermolabile compounds and high polar or non-volatile compounds are analyzed using LC. It relies on pumps to pass a pressurized solvent containing the sample mixture through a column filled with a solid absorbent material. Each component in the sample interacts differently with the absorbent material, eluting at its own retention time and leading to the compound separation as they flow out the column. Superior resolution is obtained with the UPLC system applying high pressures on the column. The schematic of a HPLC instrument typically include a degasser, pumps, sampler, columns, detector, and data management system. The auto sampler brings the sample mixture into the mobile phase stream which carries it into the column. The mobile phase must be free of dissolved gases so that no bubble form inside the instrument during the run. Please ultrasonicate the solvent previous to the injection. The pumps deliver the desired flow and composition of the mobile phase through the column. Most HPLC instruments also have a column oven that allows the temperature adjustment at which the separation is performed. The column is the heart of the HPLC system. There are two main classes of column, normal and reverse phase. Normal phase columns are most usually packed with silica gel and work in the same manner as a normal cyclic gel column in conventional chromatography. However, reverse phase columns, which are the most common, are packaged with a chemically bonded octadecyl silyl coated silica. Such columns are referred to as C18 and are very non-polar. The elements used with reverse phase column are relatively polar, example, methanol water. The detector generates a signal proportional to the amount of the sample components, allowing for their quantitative analysis. Various detectors are in common use, such as UVV's photodiode array, PDA, fluorescence, electrochemical, evaporative light scattering, or based on mass spectrometry, MS. In our lab, we perform the untargeted metabolomics analysis of polar and semipolar compounds using an UPLC PDA MS system. Afterwards, we will describe our UPLC PDA acquisition. Equilibrate the UPLC system in 95% acid water. Keep the column at 40 degrees Celsius and the sample at 4 degrees Celsius. Inject a 5 microliters a liquid 
into the C18 column with a 0.4 milliliters per minute flow rate following the adequate gradient condition. Acquire UV this spectra between 210 and 600 nanometers with a 1.2 nanometers resolution and 20 points per second sampling rate. Now we are going to explain mass spectrometry, one of the most popular techniques to study metabolites. The mass spectrometer is essentially an instrument which can be used to measure the mass, or more correctly, the mass charge ratio of ionized atoms or other electrically charged particles. The basic principle of MS utilizes the ion's nature. These ions are then separated according to their mass to charge ratio, basically but accelerating them when are subjected to an electric or magnetic field. The mass spectrometer consists of three main components, the ion source, the mass analyzer and the detector. The sample introduction system is essential to administrate the sample into the ion source. In metabolomics, the use of previous GC or LC is convenient to introduce each separate compound into the mass spectrometry. Many ionization methods currently exist impact electron, electrospike ionization, atmospheric pressure chemical ionization, and matrix assisted laser desorption ionization are the most commonly used. Electrospike is the most suitable mode for the ionization of polar and semipolar compounds. ESI is a so-called soft ionization technique since there is very little fragmentation. The mass analyzer is the heart of the mass spectrometer, which takes ionized masses and separates them based on mass to charge ratios. There are several general types of mass analyzers, including magnetic sector, orbit trap, time of flight, quadrupole, and ion trap. In our laboratory, a time of flight is the mass spectrometer analyzer. The ions are detected by a mechanism capable of detecting charged particles, such as an electron multiplier. Results are displayed as a spectra of the relative abundance of detected ion as a function of the mass to charge ratio. The atoms or molecules in the sample can be identified by correlating known masses to the identified masses or through a characteristic fragmentation pattern. Finally, we will describe our ESI QTOF system. Calibrate the mass spectrometer in continuous mode with sodium formate. Acquire MS data in centroid mode in the mass to charge ratio a scan rate from 100 to 1500 with a scan time of 0.52 seconds and an instant scan time of 0.1 seconds. Analysis conditions for negative ionization mode are as described in the image. Our work experience shows that room temperature and particularly temperature stability are critical parameters for a time of flight detector and should be controlled at no more than 21 degrees Celsius. Use leucine encephaline solution as the log max using a log spray exact mass ionization source. Acquire the data using MaxLinks software. Conclusions UPLC coupled to time of flight mass spectrometry is an optimum system for the analysis of polar and semipolar compounds extracted by the use of methanol from tomato leaves. 
to separate them, C18 is an excellent stationary phase. To ionize them, ESI is one of the most suitable ways. <laughs> 